So Tronics Network, yes. you're the CEO, it's your new streaming service. It's almost about three months old now. Yeah. So how are you finding the streaming media business? This is the business to be in, especially for us, because we, we target an audience that that we specialize in doing the best content for. And, um, and we're in our own bubble. But what's good is that um, I don't call myself the CEO because I, I, I'm, I'm like the founder. My goal is to find the right CEO, find the right CFO, COO, and more importantly, the CMO. Um, and so it's, it's in its beginning stages, but I like to build it up for about six to eight months and then start to do the right hire because that's the only way to build it and, and put the right structure in. And why streaming media? Because the media business is not that great right now. Yeah, I mean, cable subscribers are down. The, the streamers are all competing for one another. Yeah. So why get into that space of the business? Well, it's good for us because I wouldn't call our content. Well, I would call our content high, high drama. I use ratchet in the word because it, it gives you the exact definition of what it is. But there's only a few people who are proud of this kind of content that we do. So we're, we're already in our own lane. We just have to stay consistent. And if we do want to evolve into what the bigger streamers are doing, then we would start doing scripted and, you know, big budget movies. But right now we're just solely into like this loud reality world. We have like a reality factor. Now. And there was a time when content was king, right? Mm -hmm. But then we had all these streamers. And so now content, I mean, there was so many places for it to go. Yeah. How are you finding getting content? Are you finding the content that you want? Yeah, well, we're, we're producing the content. You know, it's all us from, from scratch. And um, our partners at Viacom, I love BT, I love VH1. I'm still in business with the linear networks. Um, and so our skills, to me, go far beyond that because we can be more risky on streaming. So you just get it uncut. But um, I just, nobody does TV like us. So Tronics costs what? Five ninety nine a month? Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine a month. Does it make sense to become part of a bundle? Right. Right Absolutely. now we're hearing like streamers are trying to team up. Yeah. So does it make sense for Tronics, given your demographic, to team up? And wh what would it, what would you look for in a partner? Well, I think the goal that well, I'm I'm a hundred percent bootstrapped, and that's the scariest thing is to just put all your money into something and you're waiting for a profit and it takes time. Um, I think the bigger goal for me in all of these streaming platforms is to give everybody who's at their top level of reality their own platform. And then if everybody has their own bubble and their own network skewing to what their, their fans want to see, then you bundle the whole package of the team, right? So you build every network from the ground up.